Welcome to the channel and my Zombieland Double Tap Road Trip playthrough on walkthrough part two. So in this particular video we're going to do mission two and drop off the kids. So in this particular part of the campaign it's all about Columbus getting to a static toilet because he doesn't want to use porta potties because the things are filled with zombies. Now something I probably should have mentioned in my first part of the walkthrough that I'm doing for Zombieland Double Tap is that any type of porta potty or in the first level of the game their um, ticket booths for the clowns they are spawn points for zombies and until you destroy them you will get a constant flow of zombies spawned from them. So always a key factor if you see any kind of blue porter potty or any kind of ticket proof booth, destroy it because otherwise it's just going to keep chucking zombies at you. So we've got to find the bathroom, work our way up the street here and just have a look in the car boots and in the backs of these vans, see what goodies we've got. So we've got a shotgun and some nades. That'll do nicely. And then basically just work your way up the street. There is another car boot there, but there's no point searching it. So here is our introduction, if you like, to the porta potty, which is a zombie spawn point. So the job is to destroy this porta potty. The quicker you destroy it, less zombies you have to deal with, basically. Okay, so we're going to get attacked while we're trying to do this. Obviously, the shotgun's a bit of a slow fire rate um, weapon, so I'm going to throw a grenade at the porta potty, take it out, and then basically deal with the rest of the Zeds that are coming at me here. Like so. I'll grab myself an AK. Take these two out keep working my way up the street and now we've got two porta potties to deal with so obviously again until you destroy these they're going to keep chucking out zombies so the first thing you want to do is get rid of these things as quickly as possible so I'm going to grenade them when I get close enough once I take these dudes out like so and that won't destroy them in one hit I'll have to get a couple of shots on them there we go so porta potties out so that's nice and quick and you really do want to get rid of those quickly because otherwise you will get things thrown at you. So this is our introduction into another one of those special zombies we need to kill for one of the other achievements in the game, the ninja zombie. Now these ones get in your face really quick and also weave left and right. So sometimes in order to kill them you're going to have to strafe left and right in order to catch them. And they can get really annoying when they're up close. So literally just flick the stick left and right to make sure you're hitting them because they do get very close and sometimes you can't really see which angle they're hitting you from so you're better off kind of swinging your shot like I've been doing in the video here and you can go in the stall there there's no reason to you know, there's nothing in there that's going to help me it's going to be hordes of zombies in there and stuff so I'll just try and kill them out here where it's a little easier now what I will do, I'm going to change this sniper back for the AK assault rifle because it's just that much quicker and this next section of the game is very confined so it's quite tight kind of corridors and you do need to be able to kill quite quickly otherwise things build up and get in your face very easily. These ninjas especially are just really annoying because they'll run at you from any angle and you kind of, you know, little flicks of the stick there just to kill them at the angle make sure they don't get in your face I didn't kill those guys they aren't reacting I'll just chuck that Molotov there I probably won't need it I'm burning a few of those guys unintentionally I'll just keep moving forward here burn these dudes there is a burn baby burn achievement where you've got to set six zombies alight along with yourself. In order to do that you do have to set yourself and the zombies alight at the same time and kill six of them. So I really would recommend you, you know, get a group of like ten zombies together, you know, point blank in the face, then throw the Molotov at them while they're on top of you. You'll probably die doing it as I did. 
but uh, you will get the achievement. Obviously, don't do it anywhere where you know you don't want to die and have to restart something. You know, maybe next to a Twinkie like here. You know, is a good place to do that. But, uh, there's plenty of time to get that achievement, as this is only mission two. Grab that speed boost, allow me to move a little bit quicker. And now we're told obviously there is a locked door, just like in the first level. So now we've got to get the key before we can get inside to use the toilet. Forgive my phone binging away in the background, it does that quite a lot during the day. Okay, so now we've got to get the key. Basically, we've got a bunch of zombies around the corner here. Keep killing these guys. And then kill these dudes here. And then in here, we've got to work our way into the office in order to get the key. Here's three of those ninjas, man, they can move. So there's the key. Now we can go and use the bathroom, which is obviously our objective for this level. The M16 is actually pretty good because it's very quick burst rate fire, and one burst if you hit the enemy full on, especially for generic enemies, will actually kill them outright pretty swiftly. So we make our round to the front of the building here, RV to unlock. And now it's going to tell us that we've got to fend off the horde. It's set off an alarm, basically. So we now need to kill all these zombies that are coming out. So it's basically a survival mode, if you like. So the best tips I can give here are basically do not stand still, keep moving. You know, shoot everything that comes along. You can see that kind of wall that's come up there. That basically is an area you cannot go past. So don't box yourself in the corner if you can avoid it. But ultimately, you know, keep moving around. Make sure you don't clip anything like environmental areas where you can kill zombies unless you really need to. Just in case, you know, you get into a bit of a bind and you need an easy way out, e.g. an explodable car. See these ninja guys are going right in my face there really annoying those guys it's pretty frantic I couldn't um, what's the word activate the digger there they were a little bit too close to me and also a lot of the time I find with the digger it actually catches you and takes some of your health as well if you you know if you're kind of running straight through it you do have to kind of get your timing right to avoid those diggers otherwise they tend to do a lot of damage to you as well so bit cheeky there it made me think that the level was over and then threw a whole bunch of uh, other zombies at me so we just fight a few more of these guys off and then it will be level over take out that ninja 210 bullets in the m16 a few more of these guys coming not many now Just checking the door again just to see if it's going to activate yet. There we go, doors open. So now, as Columbus, I can go in and use the bathroom, and the level has concluded. So, not overly a complex level. The key thing with this level make sure you take out any spawn locations for zombies, e.g., the polar bodies and stuff, and do it quickly. That way you're going to make your life a hell of a lot easier completing the level. And then obviously, you know, just keep killing zombies and doing what you need to do in order to build up those achievements. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with plenty more Zombieland Double Tap Road Trip in the not too distant future. Please remember to maybe drop me a like, maybe subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Keep well. Most importantly, come back soon.
I need to know where you stand on women's issues. I find you two women have plenty of issues. 